Reddit. Uh, Reddit is the next thing I want to talk about. Reddit is becoming an IPO. What is an IPO? Uh, that's an initial public offering for a publicly traded stock, which means that Reddit, the company, will become Reddit, the publicly traded company. Um, and you know how I feel about publicly traded companies. Sorry, Rumble. Um, so the way that this works is that companies become public because it's an easy way to increase the value of your company uh, or to increase your working capital. You own 100% of your company. You uh, go through the bullshit with the SEC to become a publicly traded company. And then you sell a portion of your company. Like, let's say you sell 5% of it. So that's 5% of all of Reddit. People buy it and then you make money and then you can use that money to grow your company. And then if it goes well and your stock goes up, well, you can sell another cut of your company and uh, make more money and you can just keep doing that and uh, to try and further, because if you have money, you can spend that money to make money. So that's what they're trying to do. Uh, Reddit's problem is that it's not very profitable. Uh, it's it, it relies on advertisements and Reddit gold. And the issue that Reddit has is that it's basically just a porn site. I want to say that the majority, like literally, if you look at, I, I would have to dig through their filings, but I want to say that literally the, the majority of all traffic on Reddit is porn, which is why, and they've had like serious like scandals where, or, or publicity scandals where like people found out that there's like massive rape related subreddits for just sharing like non-consensual pornography on, on the platform, uh, which scares away advertisers which are their main major source of income. So it's like, it's basically a porn site disguised as a regular community. And the other issue that they have is that everybody hates them. And that's, the, that's important because they make so much of their money from Reddit gold. Well, who the fuck is going to like very few, I think very few, I, want, I would love to see the statistics of what percentage of their active users, um, actually pay for reddit gold because they can't really offer any kind of perks that would relate to the functionality of the website because you know the entire reason why reddit is popular is because you search anything and what you get is reddit posts you know um that that answer the question so if you start making posts harder to read then you lose the entire reason why your site's popular to begin with uh, but the problem is that people hate reddit Reddit is a shit site managed by people that are complete shit, and the people that use it hate the the site. They hate the people that run it. So, so the issue then is that um, who the fuck wants to to support a website that you actively want to destroy because it ruined everything? Um, so they're they're going to have issues and. When, when you're an IPO, you have to release quarterlies explaining your profits. And if you're saying, well, we're spending this much on hosting and um, we're, not, we're not making enough money, well, then people sell your company and then your company is worth less and then you don't have any money to work with to grow anyways and you have, you have issues. So they're trying to here, – here's my thought because um, they've been trying to go public for a while, and I think the reason why um, is that they, they – basically when an exit scam they know that reddit is probably at its peak and then something is going to come along and destroy it soon so they're thinking we, we should probably get out while the getting's good and you can easily do that by making your public your, your company public and then share selling what you have uh, to the market slowly over time that's a legitimate way of selling your business without selling your business um up front the, it's, it's below its peak I can believe that. They can see that it's coming, and they, they want to get rid of it. And I can't blame them because it's a shit site, and everyone hates them. <laughs> you can't really blame them. Um, so what they're doing, and I think that they asked their moderators to buy the stock. You might be thinking, but Josh, don't their moderators make no money from what they do? That is correct. The moderators on Reddit do it for free, and yet Reddit asked them to buy their IPO, they've literally sent them an email or like a, a Reddit mail or whatever saying, hey, you're a moderator. We're going public. This is how it's going to affect you and your your community. By the way, 
you should buy some stock because it's a publicly traded company. So in theory, if you own a part of Reddit, you're not, you're, it's, think of it like this. Think of it like this, uh, working class, working man and or wor working woman and or working non-binary person of, of indiscriminate gender or identity. Think of it like this. You will become part of a collective. We will be a cooperative corporation that you own a piece of and therefore control. So you should spend your money to increase our IPO. That's uh, that's their pitch. And I think that the reason why they have, they're doing this, besides obviously to get these retards to spend their money on their bullshit company that sucks ass, is that they saw the Wall Street silver stuff. And they saw the, um, the, uh, what was the other one? Oh, the, 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 the squeeze, the GameStop squeeze. And they thought, oh my God. So we have this huge community of people that are willing to do retarded things with their money because it's funny. Maybe, maybe we can convince them to buy our company. Cause it's like, think of it. You guys love Doge coins. You love GameStop stocks. You love silver. Surely you'd like to own Reddit. Owning a money sign Reddit stock is like owning a meme directly. You should be all for it. And they really think that people are going to buy that shit. Um, I think that everyone, I think that the R um, Wall Street people and the R Wall Street silver people have been planning to short this stock since the announcement of the IPO came out like two years ago, they've been working for like two years to get this done and it's finally happening. And the entire time, the people that they should be trying to sell their company to have been planning to short their company out of the gate. So, <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I, I really can't wait to see what happens. I bet it'll be really funny. Um, cool. Excellent. I don't know. People are saying don't short it though, because um, there's going to be so much BlackRock money and shit pouring into this. But I don't know if there will be. I feel like the government is running out of fake money to play with. Um, all the gay shit, the DEI stuff that used to be really popular during COVID just dried up really quickly. I think they're running out of cash, but we'll see. Shorting is a fool's game, uh, sir. Have you heard the wise words? of a man who's been there, done that, and walked away, uh, walked away better off. Let me find him real quick. The, the, you say, you say don't shorting is a fool's game. It's gambling. Well, I'll show you the truth, the light. Gamble idiots. You understand? If you watch the entire context of all my gambling over 15 months, you will see it is 99.8% big wins. Do you understand? Look at big wins out of context. Do you understand that? You will win. Casinos literally tell you straight up. They give you the odds. And you don't have to be a mathematical genius to plug those odds in. They literally say you will win over a period of time. Do you understand? Casinos are not profitable for a reason. Get it twisted. It is a way to get rich quick. It is a way to get yourself out of any fucking low parts of your life. It will put you in a fucking rich part of life. I didn't come in and just spend a thousand dollars and 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 win seven mil, right? I spent like four mil to get back seven mil. It is no way to make money, you stupid mother. I am such a fan of this clip. I think someone showed it to me. They paid a super chat for me to watch it. And I love it. I love, there's so many like little mimetic quips to this. Um, I, Gamble Idiots is obviously the top tier meme because it's just like, you can throw that out there anytime. However, I also really enjoy Get It Twisted because you can you hear often, don't get it twisted, but no, there's no really, there's not really a an opposite of that. You don't ever say, yeah, I, I got it twisted or whatever. I enjoy this. I enjoy this immensely is what I'm trying to say. It's so true. It is, you know, 99.8% of gamblers give up before they make it big. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.